Hi guys, Joe here from Belltown Vlogs. Yes, I am back. Well, I'm back for a bit anyway, but I'm going to be going to Belltown's latest home game against Chase Town today in the MPL Division 1 Midlands League. So it's going to be a real, really good game today. I think second against fourth, you know, Super Saturday. I think the club are, are billing it as, you know, free, you know, free stuff, Christmas related at the club. So it's going to be, hopefully have that festive atmosphere and we're going for our supporters Christmas dinner after this as well. So we're... Last time we did that, uh, two years ago, we won 5-2. So hopefully that happens again today. But, uh, you know, onto, onto the game itself. We've obviously, I've not been there, but we've obviously, uh, so I can't kind of like comment on performances, etc. Other than to say, you know, we must have been doing pretty well because I think we've only lost one league game since I left for uni at the back end of September. So that's, that's pretty good. You know, we've, you know, we've been banging in the goals, different goal scorers as well. And, uh, Top scorer, Johnny Margit, has been out injured. We've, we've still been, you know, banging in four goals. And we've also shown we can win ugly as well. That 1-0 away at Corby last weekend, we've shown we can win We can win in more than one way. We're going to have to need to keep that going over this Christmas period where we've got some tough fixtures. Chase Town today, Ilsen on New Year's, that's going to be very tough. But, you know, Chase Town beat us 3-0 earlier in the season. We know what they're about. They're pretty solid away from home. Fourth in the table. Yes, they bit of inconsistent form, but they're always... Decent away from home, and you know they always need to give Belper Belper a game, as I've and as I said in the uh, in the one uh, in the reverse fixture earlier in the season. So you know I'm going to plug that. Why not? So yeah, yeah, really looking forward to it. Great to see everyone again, and hopefully, you know our you know our amazing form that's going recently will stand the test of a big side, and we can come away with three points. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, great kick from that one. Yeah! Come on, Bell Bell! Come on, Bell Bell! We go! Everywhere we go! We're the Green Street Boys! Make it all the noise! So half time nil nil, very very tough conditions, very much a, a battle of a game. A uh, few chances for either side really. We had Josh Woodcock had a diving header which was a good save by uh, Curtis Pond, but other than that, no real opportunity. It's been a bit of a battle, tough conditions, wet pitch, Chase Town looking to compact the pitch. You know, the, you know, the ideal way to kind of break that down obviously is with width, but you know the conditions not really allowing for that. I think we just got we just gotta hang tight, not give any silly chances away at the back and uh, trust the souls to take a chance when we're going forward and be clinical I thought when we got into that final though maybe just rushed it a little bit obviously you know take the conditions into account but uh but maybe we just like rushed to those chances We've got to keep that composure in the final third don't give anything away the other end we should be all right oh beautiful yes oh Oh, it's a good save. 
Yeah, yeah full time Belper nil, Chase Town two. Disappointed afternoon for Belper. Their long, their long winning run comes to an end, and Chase Town's unbeaten away record continues. I think first of all, you know, that was a textbook away performance, really straight out the, straight out of the away textbook. So, uh, you know, congratulations, Chase Town. They played well, did resilient in the back, and uh, took the chances. But I think, you know, for his first half, it was always going to be a battle. In, in those conditions, you know, it's ne you're never going to be able to play proper football. But I just think, you know, and you know, first half I thought we played pretty well. We, we matched them up. We created a chance. But second half, we were. I think we kind of resorted to under the long ball, which you understand. You've got Danny South up front. You want to use that. But you know, I just thought he kind of played into Chase Town's hands. I get the conditions were hard. You can't exactly play pretty football on there. But I felt we could have used the width more. Because, you know, I think every uh, time we had a set piece in our own half, it was the same sort of thing. So they kind of were able to read it and, and they read it well. They, they won every header, they got every bounce. And uh, Curtis Bond made a couple of nice claims from free kicks. But, uh, yeah, but, you know, the, these things, I must be, it must be me. I think I must bring bad luck. But, you know, we played a good side today. So, you know, and uh, we're obviously disappointed. You can see the disappointment on the players' face at the end of the game. You can't fault the effort in those conditions. They worked really hard, but it just didn't quite fall for us on the day. You know, perhaps unlucky to lose it. You know, the second goal kind of really was the sucker punch at the end, but uh, probably weren't good enough to win it either. So, uh, yeah, disappointment. But you know, on to the next one, Houston away next week. So, uh, yeah, drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Yeah, again, sorry for the infrequency of these. I won't be able to do that many of them this season. So I must be bad luck. Why we always seem to lose whenever I do them. So yeah, yeah, do all the usual stuff. Have a good Christmas if you don't watch another video. And uh, yeah, see you later.